Good morning folks, uh, welcome to the Daniel Code report for the 26th of January. This uh, will also be a gold report, we looked at the gold market uh, in our video last week and since then we had a very nice move down with about three or four thousand a contract and the latest move up has been worth in excess of ten thousand dollars a contract. So if you think thirteen thousand is an unlucky number, uh, go no further. If you are like me and you want to try to find how we could find all the market turns in gold, well we can't do it always but we do most of the time and we've done it again on this occasion. And I want to show you how that uh, has been affected. First of all, the charts for this uh, video are available at the link on the right hand side uh, of the uh, YouTube video uh, and also at the Daniel Code website at www.thedanielcode.com. They're in PDF format, so please print them out and uh, we can follow the charts uh, as we go through this video. Uh, the first chart we're going to look at, uh, labelled as chart number one, um, is just a plain, straight off chart of the daily uh, COMEX uh, gold contract. And that's probably what most of you see. So the question you would have to ask yourself is how would you have uh, found the low? How would you have found the previous high? How would you have known to get short and how to get long? And that's really the essence of trading. If we move on to chart two, you'll see that I've put a red circle around the pattern that clustered around December 29th is the last short term high and I've put a uh, blue uh, oval around the lows of January 14th and 15th uh, which became the buying area and you needed to know that first of all the red rectangle was a selling area and the blue rectangle was a buying area. Uh, we'll move on now to chart number three and you'll see that between that selling area and the buying area uh, was an intermediate correction and uh, that gave us a short-term buy on January the 7th and a short-term sell two days later. I spoke to you in fact last week when the, uh, probably more like 10 days ago, uh, when that buy signal of January the 7th, 8th had been elected and was going nowhere and you remember I said that uh, when these uh, TO3 signals fail, they often lead to an acceleration of the trend in the original direction, uh, and that's exactly what happened here. Uh, in fact, on the 9th, uh, the charts gave another TO3 sell signal which was posted that morning. So, uh, from the last time I spoke to you, you should have got the trade down from the 9th to the reversal on the 15th, and you should have been long since the 15th, and I'm now going to show you how that could have been achieved and how it was achieved by Daniel Co members. If we move on to chart number four, <coughs> you'll see that we've now added the blue Daniel Co targets for the intermediate move up and you'll see that the first one was 890 and the next one was 899.40. Uh, on that uh, bar up into December the 29th, you'll see that it recognized that Daniel Code number, pulled back and ran away from it quite fast. That's the sort of price recognition that we often get of these Daniel Code numbers. Uh, we then move on to chart number five and you'll see we've now added the retracement, the Daniel Code proprietary retracement numbers of the previous swing which were at 835.50 and 802.60. You'll see those red lines on there. So they were the areas in which we would expect this market to go to before it had a reaction. And you can now see uh, that on January the 7th, uh, the low of that bar was 836. Look, it may be the 8th. I haven't got the, uh, my computer open at the moment, but you'll see the chart, I've, the, the bar I've marked had a low of 836 against the Daniel Code retracement number of 835.50. That was market recognition and that's what set up the rally. Uh, after we had the uh, failed buy signal and the new sell signal, the market roared down the next area we would expect a reaction was 80260. That's why these Daniel Code numbers are so imperative for you to have on your chart. And of course you'll see in the blue rectangle in chart 5 that's exactly where the market reversed. We'll now go on and add the uh, various proprietary signals that I've provided to our members in that period. And in chart number six, you'll see all of those signals on the chart. We had 
a TO3 uh, cell signal uh, right at that uh, December 29th high, uh, which uh, moved away and then came back, but shouldn't have hit you if your stock was in the right place above the swing. Four days later, we had a TO3 cell signal in the Huey Index. Now, those of you who read my articles, uh, all of which are available at the Daniel Cohn website, for your enjoyment, I hope, um, will be aware that in this metals complex of silver, gold and Huey, a TO3 signal in one is likely to be mimicked in the other market. So it's not automatic, but if you get a signal for gold or silver or Huey, you take that and you're also looking for the other markets to mimic that signal. In this case, we had a sell signal in Huey four days later, which was mimicked in gold, and down it went. We went down to 836, that's only five ticks away from the Daniel Code number where we expected a reaction. We got a TO3 signal that was all right for intraday traders, but no good for those who were trading off daily charts. And then two days later, I posted the TO3 signal for a sell. And that was the day after I spoke to you on the last video. And you'll see that fast move down. One, two, three, four moves down right into the next Daniel Code support number, which was at 802.60. And on the 15th, the market made its low at 801.50. So that's the sort of chart that you would have been able to build if you had uh, were a member of the Daniel Code and you had access to the T3 signals and the Daniel Code numbers. Just look at the chart in chart 6 and compare it with what you had on your chart in chart 1. You can see how all of these indicators build up and build up till you get a complete flow of signals which tell you what these markets are likely to do and of course uh, the TR3 videos and documents show you the protocols of how to trade them. Now let's move on now to uh, chart number seven and I want to make the point here that from chart six you saw that the TO3 buy signal was actually made on the 14th. Now in the TO3 documents I tell you that these signals can last for up to four days that they are initially at least a heads up to be on high probability alert for a reversal uh, but in fact our protocols the way I ask most people to trade them to simplify the trade procedures is that we ask, we require them to be elected within two days, but if they're not elected within two days, you should still be very aware that there's a high probability of a turn coming if the market recognises the Daniel Code number. In fact, what happened here is we had a TO3 signal on the 14th that wasn't elected for three days, but the very next day on the 15th, we had a standard Daniel Code reversal by signal. Uh, and for that, uh, if you want to look at the Learn to Trade videos or read the da Daniel Code Trading Manual, you will see how those signals set up. Most of that is shown you on chart 7. You'll see that we have uh, complete recognition of the Daniel Code uh, number at 802.60 with the market making its low at 801.50 and reversing. We have recognition of the Daniel Code retracement number. We have the fast stochastic oversold and the slow stochastic oversold. And that's what sets up the standard Daniel Code turn. So in this case, we had a TO3 signal on the 14th. If you missed that, you're forgiven. If you missed the Daniel Code signal on the 15th, you're not forgiven. Uh, the trade just took off then. And you'll see on chart number 8, uh, this was a $10,000 a contract trade. Very, very important for gold traders to be able to bank these sorts of trades. If you didn't get the cells and you didn't get this buy reversal, you need to look at the Daniel Code protocols, which will show you how our members do get almost all of these market terms. I won't say every one, but very close to it. The only other point to add on chart number eight is that uh, on those uh, one of those small um, uh, uh, inside bars, which is shown in red, we had a TO3 cell signal, which was not elected. And you remember I spoke to you last week that when there's a TO3 signal that's not elected, very often we get acceleration in the direction of the previous trend, and that's exactly what happened here. And that's what caused Friday's big, big bar up to 903.60 was the first number we were looking for on the Daniel Code sequence. You can see the blue line on the chart. And that trade to that point is worth something more than 10,000 a contract. So that's how we trade gold at the Daniel Code. All other markets trade exactly the same. 
We hope you got those trades. If not, I hope that this video will show you how you could have got them. You're welcome to look at all the documents and the videos at the Daniel Code website. I hope you've enjoyed this little talk today.